Hello, my name is Ronan Chris Murphy, and I don't work for A Designs, but I use tons of their stuff. And they were nice enough to let me help out with some of the beta testing on the nail, so I can tell you a little bit about it. It's a pretty cool compressor because it's not like anything else you've got in your collection. I've got a pretty big compressor collection. And I'll try and real quick just run you through some of the things that are interesting and different. First question people are always going to have is what's the deal with the the two threshold controls. Well, this one, if you've got it in the off position, this threshold control is going to work very similar to what you'd expect in LA-2A. Uh, you crank it more clockwise, more compression. So that's nothing too crazy, but this second one actually works as a threshold. So in the off position, it's bypassed, but here it's actually going to be a, um, a real threshold. So if you wanted to really crank up the gain reduction to get that type of uh, curve, uh, you could do that, but have it only click in uh, really at the highest things or lower, wherever you wanted to do it. Uh, also, what's here is, you know, a lot of compressors have the um, side chain filters, but what's nice about this one is it's completely variable from off to uh, 250 hertz. So if you're doing hard rock with big bass or hip hop or things like that, and you want, got this on the two bus, it's really, really cool to be able to have that much control over the, uh, the high pass on the side chain. Uh, attack and release, nothing too unexpected here. The one thing that's kind of cool and unique about this is insanely fast if you need it. And um, re release can go pretty well too. And then a direct um, and wet, or direct and comp as he's got it labeled here. Um, what's really neat about the box is it's really powerful in terms of shaping the envelope uh, of sounds more than any compressor I've ever used. Just the ability to combine these two uh, features here, such a range, incredible range on the attack and release, also again with the blend control. And in terms of its sonics, it doesn't have an incredibly strong imprint on it. It certainly has one, um, but what's neat about it is if you do need to draw a whole bunch of gain reduction, but you actually like how you've got your sound, it's, it does a really good job of kind of maintaining the spectral integrity of what's going on. So if you need to smack a mix down pretty significantly, the relationship between your bass and your hi-hat and all that, it's going to stay pretty, for, uh, pretty together without inducing a lot of coloration or a lot of distortion. And uh, so you can actually get away with a lot of stuff. And so it's actually a really cool tool. And mostly what I love about it most is the extent to which you can really manipulate things, clamp down on them. And I even find myself uh, using this in conjunction with some of my other favorite compressors. If there's compressors that I really love the tone of, but don't quite have the range of uh, sculpting options that I might like, this in combination with those has really proved to be incredibly powerful for me, kind of from tracking and for mastering and work on the two bus.